Hi, today I'm going to introduce the concept of user-defined parameter types. Hi, thanks for being here. I'm Nilton Santos and I am an Oracle certified Java developer with over 20 years of experience and I am the founder of the craft of programming. Com. The craft of programming.com is an educational website focused on teaching general computer science concepts, programming languages, APIs, and software tools. If this is the first time that you are here, then please subscribe, like, hit that notification bell since I publish content regularly. Also, leave a comment below and share this video with friends. Let's get started with today's video. So in the previous lesson, we uh, covered the concept of the built-in uh, parameter types that Cucumber Gherkin, Gherkin supports. Um, so what about uh, types that you have created in your domain? How are you going to tell Cucumber about those so that you can write more expressive tests that are more type safe? So um, let me write a simple scenario here. Um, you know, let's call it simple example uh, with user defined uh, parameter type. Okay, and um, as usual, given that my library is initialized empty, um, what I want to do is when I add uh, the book. And now let me create a, um, let me define the metadata for the book that I want to add. Let's say uh, Awesome Cucumber is the title of the book. And um, as usual, it's got our 42 pages. It's a computing book published this year by yours truly. Uh, and I just want to say that then I find the book. Okay, so let's implement this step, step argument. Okay, so um, I want to do something different here. What I want to do is introduce the concept of, as I say, custom or user-defined uh, parameter types, i.e. parameters that, parameter types that Cucumber does not know about because they are not built in. So the way you do it is you introduce the name. So in this case, book is the custom parameter type that I want to capture. And the method name is just I add the book. And obviously what I'm expecting here is a book. And since this step is to add a book, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do test context, grab the instance, get library service, um, uh, not preloaded. And what I want to do is I just want to add this book. Okay, so that's this step. So how does Cucumber know about this custom parameter type? You have to tell it, obviously. And the way to do it is by using the parameter type annotation. So the parameter type annotation basically takes um, a couple of parameters here. To start with, let's do the simple thing possible, which is just specify a regular expression uh, that captures, uh, you know, the book metadata that we're going to use to create, you know, the book object. So, um, you know, the simplest thing that you can do is just do a dot star. And we're going to tag our method that returns the book. And um, it, let's call it book metadata. And obviously, we're going to have to return the book. If I expand all of this stuff. So let's just grab this code here. And let's go back here. And um, obviously, we need to split the book metadata. Let's split it by, um, you know, it's a CSV by comma. And let's introduce a uh, variable that we're going to call split. Okay. And obviously, right here. The okay, so what do we have here? So this thing is still not, um, so the method, it needs to match the name. So what do we have here? What I have here is I have, uh, you know, a simple step where um, I'm passing the entire book metadata, right? Um, or representation of the book as 
you know, this entire string here. And instead of passing it as a string, I'm, I'm saying this is an actual book within my domain. It's this parameter type here, right? It's a book within my domain. And the way I tell to Cucumber is by using, you know, um, curly braces book. And this custom parameter, I'm telling Cucumber that, you know, it's a capture um, all, you know, uh, regex, okay? So then what Cucumber uh, does is it looks at this I add the book, right? Then any text that is after I add the book, right? This text is going to be, because this parameter type uh, has the capture all, it's going to capture all that text, right? That then we get here as a parameter, we split it by CSV, and then, you know, we create our book. Okay, so uh, let's just run this and make sure that it passes. I actually don't need to run this uh, steps uh, example with step argument. And as you see, uh, you know, the step of finding the book, it passes, okay? So notice one important detail here, which is the fact that the um, parameter um, name, the custom parameter that we just defined, uh, the, the, the method actually implements, it needs to match, you know, that parameter. There is actually a, a parameter here called name that Cucumber supports, where you, keep, you can give it a name and then the value of the regular expression, you would define it like that. Um, and in theory, you should be able to define, you know, a different method, um, you know, without having to match. But unfortunately, I, I think this is a bug in, um, in this version of Cucumber, whereby this uh, parameter name is not actually taking effect. So in theory, this parameter name is so that you don't have to, you know, the method that defines uh, the, um, that it's tagged by the parameter type annotation, the name of that method doesn't have to match the actual, your, your custom parameter name. Um, but for some reason, this doesn't work. So uh, at least on this version of Cucumber, uh, and by the way, I'm using, I'll tell you what version of Cucumber I'm using. I'm using uh, version 5.6.0. So uh, maybe this is uh, fixed on the uh, later version of Cucumber. But, you know, the workaround for that is you just make sure that the name of the method matches the name of your parameter, okay? And then this will work, okay? So uh, talking about custom parameter types, let's also talk about the, um, the topic that we've been using. So if you recall, we've been using, we've been capturing topics. Let's get this step definition here. And notice that in all the, uh, our step definitions here, let's put it here. We've been catch capturing the, our enum in our domain. So recall that the enum has these values. We've been capturing these using the capture all, you know, parameter type. Now, this is okay and it's been fine. Uh, we've been using this because I didn't want to introduce the concept of custom parameter types. But the problem with using capture all is that this may fail at runtime. Uh, why? Because I can pass anything, right? And then Cucumber will try to convert this onto a topic and it may fail. Uh, for example, let's illustrate. So we have this step here. Let's say that I write something, you know, like, a, um, I don't know, invalid topic, right? For example, okay? So notice that Cucumber is still happy because, you know, it, it is, um, it's captured by this capture all, but obviously this will fail at runtime because Cucumber will not be able to convert this invalid topic string onto a topic in it. So let's illustrate and run this. So notice that it fails. And if you look at the step definition, Cucumber says could not convert, you know, the, uh, the step defined there to a topic. Okay. Okay. So notice that here it gives you more details saying can transform a valid topic, right? To class topic. Okay. So how can you solve this problem? Well, the same way that we define, if you look at our uh, definition here, we define uh, you know, a parameter type for our book to provide us more, you know, um, type uh, safety. We can do the same thing for the enums, right? So we just have to define all our um, topics. So again, let's go back to the topic. I can just copy this and let's uh, replace this by a uh, pipe. Okay. So that's the values that we have. Okay. And this would be, uh, you know, our topics. 
again with the method needs to match uh, we're gonna get a string topic and obviously the only thing we need to do here is this topic oops uh, value of that topic okay so that's what this is going to return and now if we go back to our step definition here okay then what we're going to do is we're going to say that this is now a topic okay so notice that because now we are providing better type safety right then now cucumber knows oh so topic right um, let's get this here so topic is is a um, is a, a custom type right that has only these values right Cons computing sci-fi finance and novel and you know you are passing something which is in, it's not in that set so cucumber is complaining so this is much better way of um, defining um, you know uh, custom types special enums because again it provides at compile time type safety okay so all of our topics that you've been utilizing okay they would have to be converted to topic okay for uh, better type safety and uh, just to illustrate again if I were to run this again and notice that it passed okay so this concludes the um, Cucumber lesson on custom parameter types. Thanks for watching. Ciao.